gosh, I thought we'd never get the kids to quiet down. They're still talking to each other in their tents, but as long as they don't make too much noise, they should be fine. We've got a long car ride in the morning, so it's not like it matters if they're dead tired. I'm glad we did this. Your High Adventure Club, my Bug Scouts, they really tore up the camp this week. Sailing, orienteering, woodworking. They didn't have to get too much practice at first aid, thank goodness. That was a bit of a worry of mine. I thought your bunch might not be used to rough play. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. We're all differently abled. I can worry a little about humans without being too patronizing. I'm literally armored. I worry about everyone who doesn't have the good sense to keep their skeleton on the outside. <laughs> but you're right. All that worry and nothing really happened, uh, besides a little poison ivy and a couple bruises from a fall in the creek. And it's been really good for my group. The butterfly girls needed some exposure. Well, more like a reality check. Meet some kids who know something about makeup who aren't completely shallow. And I was so worried about Felix. You know, the skunk boy. He was so worried he wasn't going to fit in anywhere. And look at him now, Mr. Comedian, getting along with everyone. Hmm, it's gonna be cold tonight. I hope everybody brought their heavy sleeping bags. There'll probably be frost in the morning. Although I bet everyone sleeping in the tent with a hellhound will be sleeping in their t-shirts tonight. <laughs> How about you, Scoutmaster? You came with nothing but two tarps, a pocket knife, and about six miles of rope. Are you gonna be okay? I'd hate to wake up to you shivering too much to fix a hot beverage. <laughs> I'm just joshing. I'm sure you have the right gear. Me? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I've got a lovely electric pad that keeps me at a perfect 99 degrees. What? Centipedes are a tropical people. I'd probably go dormant without it. And besides, I know the specs on it. It's not a fire hazard. It's the same thing cold bloods use on submarines. I am going to be as snug as a bug in a rug tonight. <laughs> uh, besides that, I wanted to ask if you, uh, if your troop would be coming again next year. Yeah, the kids are already excited. It's been such a hit I went ahead and grabbed 15 spots for next spring. You should too, you know? All of the kids have already traded phone numbers. It would be nice to make this a thing. Besides, us adult leaders need to support each other. It's a hard enough gig for sure, and I know I could use all the tips and tricks I can find. I feel like I've learned a bit from you here and there, and you must be getting something out of this because of all those questions you ask me about bug peoples. Didn't go to college for six years for nothing, pal. <laughs> At least I hope not. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Think about coming next year, would you? I'd hate for us to come up on different weeks and miss each other. Yeah, good night. Hey, hey, uh, I'm sorry to wake you. I am in big trouble. Uh, my muscles are contracting. Uh, I, I, I got cold. Uh, stupid blanket crapped out in my sleep. Uh, I need to warm up right now. Uh, can you start your truck for me? Uh, maybe drive me to the hospital? Your sleeping bag. Oh, it's so warm. Oh, gosh, that was scary. You are, like, the best. You are, you are so sweet. You're, you're wonderful. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, my brain isn't entirely on right now, so stop me if I'm not making sense. Uh, I'm going to need a warm place to sleep tonight. I won't be able to keep the sleeping bag warm overnight since I don't generate much heat, so I'm thinking a motel. Nearest one is, what, 30 minutes away? You could go get one of the adults from one of the other campgrounds to watch the kids while you drive me. Or maybe they could drive me and you could watch our camp. The problem is, I'm not supposed to leave the kids overnight with someone else. It's a liability thing. I don't want you or the camp getting sued. Uh, can I think about this for a second? Don't let me fall asleep. <sighs> so cozy. Gosh, I really don't want to drag all the kids to a motel because I'm cold. Maybe you could take a look at my blanket? You're really handy. 
Uh, oh, forget it. Even if you had tools, and even if you could fix it, I really don't want to risk going into a coma tonight. And you're not really dressed to be out of your sleeping bag. I mean, you're decent. It's not like you're in your underwear. Always ready in case someone needs you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Both of us shouldn't be freezing. I feel like I've accidentally kicked you out of your bed. Um, well, do you want to... I'm looking for the right word here. Like, if this was an emergency, if... If we were in a survival situation, it's 100% clear what we should do. And I sure didn't plan this, so it feels like an emergency. I mean, it is an emergency. Kind of. Uh, I sound like such a creep, but... Would you mind if I... Uh, shared your body heat? Oh, uh... Okay. Uh, well, that went smoothly. Just like that? Wow. I can't help but feel like you were just waiting for me to ask. How do you want to, um, do this? We could push our backs together, but I gain and lose heat mostly through my front. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, that, um, that works. Are you... Sure you're okay with me lying against you like this? I feel a little awkward making eye contact, laying against your chest. No, seriously, I, I am so happy right now. You are so much better than an electric blanket. Can I, uh, wrap around you a little? I'll just, uh, drape over you a little, like a big bug blanket. Oh, yes. You're like a really good tree, and I mean that in the best way. Being able to wrap my legs around your calves and ankles, absorbing all your warmth, insulating you. Well, yeah, you can put your arms around my waist. You've got to do something with them, right? <sighs> I'm sure you don't like being objectified as a nice, firm, warm spot. For the record, you have... Many other excellent qualities. I definitely like you better than any rock in the sunshine, for what it's worth. Well, yeah, I feel like we've got a lot in common. You get what I'm all about. I have a question. Do I feel the way you thought I would? Yeah, my back is armored, but around my belly, my chest, my face... I'm soft, like you. <sighs> Bugs need cuddles, too. Even if this is just a survival cuddle. Uh, I didn't mean uh, I shouldn't read into... <clears throat> oh. Oh, this isn't supposed to happen. But I want it so bad. Please. Tell me I'm not a home wrecker. I assumed I didn't see a ring, but you have to have a partner, kids of your own, something. Oh, thank goodness. Mm. Uh, every time I see you chop wood, every knot you tie, I just think to myself, I want you to take care of me. Uh, uh. Uh, set an alarm, okay? We've got to get up super early before any of the kids. They can't get a hint of this. But we've got time now. You and me. And I'm not waiting until next year. No, you're taking me to dinner. How's next week? Well, let's see how tonight goes first. <laughs>